Hi everybody, I'm Jonathan, messenger for the spirit world. I have a, I have somebody coming through at the moment. Um, they're actually developing, and how I knew that they were trying to come through is I, I couldn't breathe. I, I, I was sat here, um, and problem swallowing, and but I, I find it very, very difficult to breathe. Um, they. Sorry, can you take that away, please? Because I, I can't do anything, please. Ashton, can you get me to take that away, please? Thank you. Um, that's better. Um, This lady is called Esme. Um, she right, okay. She she passed through a cancerous condition of the lung, uh, and it spread to her throat, which is the reason why, because she's a strong character. She's a very very strong character. Okay, thank you. She's saying it. I, I am. I've been in the land army. So she was used to doing manual labour on farms and things during the Second World War. And she's a very um, strong, very strong hands. But she says, you had smoke breaks whenever you could. She says, and uh, she's telling me that she used to get the cigarettes and cut it into three. Long cigarettes like this and then cut it into three. And smoke very un un unhealthy, untipped. And um, she says everybody did it because she didn't know how long you were going to live anyway. Because where they were, it, right, okay, thank you. She says she was in Kent uh, in England and she was, um, they were always being bombed and things. And uh, um, she didn't real. she didn't know how long they were going to live. Uh, so, um, okay, she's sending this message for her son Reggie and she's saying that you're worried about her, don't be worried about her because she's okay, she's been made well again, she's been to hospital and she's fine and she is around you, she says you need a pitchfork up uh, well, you, you need to be prodded with a pitchfork. She didn't say that, but that's what I'm saying to you. And um, that's from your mother, not from me. Um, and you, you just need to get on with things instead of wallowing, she's saying, in, in self-pity because you've lost me. And she says, you haven't lost me. I'm with you all the time. She says, and um, to don't worry, she's... You needed elsewhere, not not worrying about what I've, I, yeah. Right, she's telling me that she's she's been gone ten months, and she's saying it. it the thing is, she's come over as a quick message, and she'll come over when she's fully established herself and, and adjusted. So don't worry. She'll come across when she needs to. She says, "I'm gonna, I'm gonna knock things off." She says, "I, I, I, I wanted to do that." She says, "Knock things off the shelves, non-breakable, of course." But she's knock things off so he knows that it's me. So uh, okay, no problem. Bless you, Esme. Thank you. Okay, she said, "I've got to go back now." She says, "But." Um, I, I'll, I'll I'll pop back. She says, and um, I'll see you. This is to uh, uh, so not to me. But she can come back to me anytime she wants, of course. But but um, okay. God bless you. Thank you so much. Yes, I will. She's saying, look after yourself as well. I will. Thank you. And um, he's pulled away now. And uh, nice, short, and sweet. And on that note, I'd just like to say thank you for tuning in. I'm glad that you like what I do. 
Thanks for uh, liking and subscribing, and I'll see you on the next one. God bless. Bye for now.